All right, so we're back in Pongo, and I think Pongo properties are really getting hot in demand right now. My name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers. Today we are in Privé, one of the first few ECs that has been constructed in the Pongo estate. And we're at this top floor, four bedroom unit with a four meters ceiling height, which only the top floor residents will get to enjoy. So why don't you follow us and then we'll bring you through this home tour with us. Let's go. Let us give you an orientation of where we are. Privé has two side gates. If you want to travel to the MRT station, just exit by the left side gate, take a 10 minutes walk, cut through the HDB blocks, and then you will reach the bus interchange first before you hit the MRT station and waterway point. And of course, if you prefer to take the feeder bus, just need to exit by the side gate nearest to the tennis court. The bus stop is just right in front of the tennis court area, and then it only takes you two bus stops to reach the bus interchange. Now, this project was completed in the year 2013 so right now in 2020 is about seven years old in terms of the building age for the land age based on nine nine year lease it starts from the year 2010 so right now based on land age is about 10 years old relatively new development because the residents here are only allowed to sell since 2018 after they have reached their MOP period now previous is made out of two three and four bedders there are less than 10 percent of four bedrooms available because there is only like 50 51 units of four bedrooms available. The four bedrooms here are the largest. Most developers usually give the best facing to the largest unit. For a simple fact is that the largest units are at the highest quantum. Usually they will reserve the best facings for the huge ones. So most of the HDB owners after staying here for probably like five years in their BTOs and then if they love Pongo and their kids are already studying in the primary school or secondary school right here, they might then want to upgrade to the private properties in Pongo itself. Privé will come across as one of the key choices when they start to house hunt for private property in Pongo. So why don't we have a look at the unit first and then we'll chat more along the way. This layout at 1399 square feet gives you an entrance for you here. Of course, if you want to put in a full height shoe cabinet right on the right hand side, you have about this uh, allowance here for you to do that. Now the door is huge, it comes with automated lock system. So the moment that you enter, we also realize that the foyer is not too long, so there's not too much wastage of space. You immediately come towards your dry kitchen, and your dry kitchen fronts towards your wide angular kind of living room layout. Now this layout for the living room is one of the very sought after kind of layout because you have your dining and your living room fronting towards the entire balcony and that gives you a more spacious kind of feel. Let me just bring you out and then we have a chat outside. If you notice, we have put in like a mini relaxing lounge chair. Invisible grills has already been done. There's totally no afternoon sun. At the same time, they are all internal facing. There's no road noise coming from the external facing. So you're actually facing towards the pool area plus a north direction with a kitchen facing towards the south. All right, so let's head back in. Only the top floor enjoys the four meters ceiling height. So if you notice, there's actually additional tinted windows at the top that brings in a lot of additional brightness to the living space. Importantly, this is unique. There's only one on level 17, which means that in the entire privé, if you're looking for a four bedder, there are only three units that has this loft. So let's talk about the kitchen first. Enclosed kitchen, great space, take out oven right at the bottom. There are four windows here and if we do a privacy check, I don't get to see any of my neighbor's kitchen here. Now this space uh, is reserved for your fridge. If you notice why was there no fridge here because my owners has already shifted on to their new property. You have a lot of space on top to put in your cutleries after washing your dishes. Additional bonus will be this dry kitchen because on top of here, you still have additional storage space. And at the bottom as well, there are four storage panels. This part, there are still allowance at the bottom for breakfast dining all right so you can slot in probably about two to three high chairs all right so before we hit the bedrooms there is an additional space here so let's follow me 
in your home shelter is right here. You can put in loads of storage space. Now we have the L-shaped metal rack system already installed, so it will be left here for you. There is space here to fit in your washer come dryer, and then there is also a yard toilet. So this is like your yard space. Uh, you can install uh, this automated system. Nowadays there's tons of it. Voice control, remote control. Just press the button. Uh, you will be dropped down. Hang your clothes. Push it out. So if you don't use a dryer, this is very efficient. And yard space being here serves another purpose because it's near to the bedroom. So after you have collected your clothes, just bring to the bedrooms and fold it and keep it all the wardrobe. So you don't have to pass through your kitchen. So coming here, common bathroom. Key fact is that it's very well maintained. You don't have to do much. So when you buy this unit, it saves you money as well. The lightings are all well maintained, ceiling looks great, wall tiles, flooring, well preserved from day one. So material wise, living room gives you homogeneous tiles, bedrooms are laminated timber, and bedroom sizes, pretty standard for queen bed. You have three panel of wardrobe space here. You can still fit in like a very mini side table if you want to. All the bedrooms then gives you a full panel window. And coming here to the second room, mirror image of the first room. This also allows you to fit in a queen bed. But of course, if you have two to three kids, you might just want to put in like a single or super single kind of bed size and then you can still slot in a study table. So let's have a look at the Juno Master. Alright, so why is it called a Junior Master? Because it has its own ensuite. So there's a total of four bedrooms and four bathrooms in this 1399 square feet unit. Three panels of wardrobe space plus ensuite. Nice standing shower space. So this probably will be reserved for your parents if they do stay in with you. If not, you can give to one of your child or use it as a guest room. Alright, so let's have a look at the master room. We have fitted in a king bed a version to show you. You still have space for a bookshelf, TV console space, sliding panel wardrobe. It's huge here. There is an additional window at the side here for extra ventilation. Three panels of windows looking towards the pool deck as well. So coming here, you might want to have a look at this ensuite. Now this is the largest bathroom. It comes with a long bath as well. And in terms of the space, it's really great. Okay, so one of the key difference between the top floor and the rest of the four bedrooms below us is that the top floor unit do not have a balcony in the master rooms. So the units downstairs are actually 1442 square feet. This is 1399 square feet. You do not have a balcony in the master. In exchange, you actually have a bonus space, which is the extra loft area in your living room. And to take note, that loft area, you do not have to pay for it. It's not included in the strata space is really a bonus just for the top floor. All right, so coming out. So we want to show you the price difference of all the other four bathers in Pongo. All right, so these are the prices. There is at Treasure Trove, there's also at Park Central's, and at Watertown. These are some of the projects which are the closest and within walking distance to the Pongo MRT station. So let's talk a little bit about the plans that government has set in place for the Pongo estate. And I think it's going to be a very exciting town. So of course, when Pongo was just started, people were talking about like the jams and all that kind of stuff. But now the road has been expanded. I think it is fantastic now. The upcoming developments are also great. So if you have watched our Watertown video, we actually talk about the new Hawker Centre, National Library, the sports club coming up. The STI new campus is here. Now Waterway Point has a lot of F&B choice. But the fact that this is also earmarked to be the Silicon Valley of Singapore, which is in Pongo with about 28,000 tech jobs to be created. And most importantly, you can almost cycle to every part of Pongo through the waterway park connector belt system. So I think it's very suitable if you love to be in the new estate with new surroundings, lots of gardens, lots of playgrounds. I think it's going to be fantastic for a family if you love to stay in this part of the northeast area of Singapore. So why don't we have a look at the condo facilities right here at Privé. You have two huge pools. You have the kids pool, a nice function room, a good-sized gym, full-size tennis court. 
There's also walking trails designed within the condo itself. Now, one fact to mention is that the maintenance fee is really decent. It's at $285 per month approximately, even less than 300 bucks for a four bather. And so we think that it's very reasonable for you to start with. We've come to the end of this tour. So I hope you enjoyed this four bedroom privé tour with Propylene Brothers. Now, of course, if you want to view the physical place and if this is suitable for you, feel free to click on the link right down below for more information and get in touch with our listings team. My name is Melvin Lim, Propylene Brothers once again. Always happy to show you the place. See you soon. All right, so let's give us... You ready? All right, so... Congo is really over time and uh, it's still a very walkable over time. Can, can I do this? Yeah. Highest developments and uh, it was an 